Hello, fellow collectors. Today we're going to be talking about Star Wars, the Black Series, Jedi, Fallen Order. So here we have the second sister, Cal Kittis, and the Purge Trooper. So this is the Inquisitor vision that he had during the game. So on the side here, we see artwork of all three of the characters. On the back, we see the artwork again. We see a couple of information lines about these guys. So on the side here we have Nada with the gaming series. So let's put it on the scale and see how much it weighs. So the package is coming in at 15.6. So if I work for the post office, this is one pound. So let's get it off the scale and out of the box. Hey, oh my damn it. Okay, oh my. now that we have them out of the box, let's look at the Purge Trooper's weapon first. So here we have this nice hammer. Very, very cool. Then we'll look at Cal's weapon. Very cool lightsaber. Now you can pull the blades out so we can single wield. Now this doesn't come apart, it's all one part, but the blades do at least come out. Same with the second sister's weapon, but just be careful with these things because if they get bent, then they'll look a little bent. But yes, they pop out, and there we go. Very, very cool. So first we'll go ahead and look at the Purge Trooper. Get him a little closer here. Very nice looking character. Cloth cape here. Shoulder pad. His stripes. A very, very cool looking trooper here. Definitely different than the other purge troopers we've got in the past. Now he is coming right in at six and one eighth inches tall so that means he will fit in all right with other Hasbro lines now he has these shoulder pads here so we can only do so much of a t-pose but they do rotate around bicep swivel double bend in the elbow wrist rotation head can look down a little bit up a lot right and left no problem now he has this ball jointed top chest piece so we can rotate around on that he has a waist swivel as well now he has this nice detail in here you can see it this part here at the top is just a clip on but he does have a thigh swivel double bend in the knee ankle rotation on a peg hinge and the hole for the stand Now, let's look at Second Sister. Very, very nice. She has a cloth cape going here. That was a nice addition, and it has the Empire symbols here on each side. Now, she can do a nice T-pose. No bicep swivel, but she has a peg hinged here on the elbow. That can give you all range of motion. Got a wrist that rotates around. Now, head can look up pretty good down right and left waist swivels around up and down she got a pretty good split forward and back thigh rotation double bend in the knee no or does she have boot rotation let's see on the other one no no boot rotation but we do have an ankle rotation here it goes forward and back Let's get her back on the stand. Now she is coming in right at five and three quarter inches. So a little bit shorter than the trooper. Now let's go ahead and look at Cal. Very nicely done. Has this armor part here on the top. You can see here it could come off. 
if you force the issue. But he has these red stripes going down his uniform, red gloves in between, these pads here, and these boots, and a symbol. Now he can look up. He's got this neck and head piece here. So right and left. Do a pretty good neck motion. Looks out pretty good. Now it doesn't have a thigh rot or a uh, bicep bend, but does have an elbow peg hinge and wrist rotation. He has a peg hinge here at that no waist does a pretty good split forward and back thigh rotation double I'm sorry peg hinge for the knee different than all the other ones hmm. and then ankle rotates forward and back side to side full range of motion on that peg hinge now Cal is coming in right at six and one eight so that means he is just as tall as this guy and a very very cool looking figures indeed so i bought this set on amazon so i will include the link below so remember to shop around like subscribe and keep collecting